So you want to sell first N810 and Flowwise together for under $5 per month. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to set this up on Etzner Cloud, even if you're a complete beginner. Cheat sheet in the description. Let's go. So first we need to sign in your sign up in Etzner.com. So for that, I go to login and cloud. And here, okay, in my case, I log in, but if you don't have an account, you go here, register now. So I'm going to log in. Okay. And here we need to create a project. If you begin, you just will have a button, create a project. In my case, I already have mine NA10 and Flowwise installed here. So here I click on create new project and I name it demo N8N. Okay. And add project. Now I need to create a server and here I choose my location. So let's say we are in the US, even if I'm in Europe, let's say I have clients in the US and I create another server here. And here in image, I go to apps and I choose Docker. So we will have Docker pre-installed in, in our server. On type, I choose this one. And here's the first one. It's enough for what we have now. So here, five euro forty three a month. So a little bit more than five dollars, but it's very cheap. Then I recommend to have the backups. And now we need to create an SSH key. So for that, we need to open the terminal. So I have my sheet sheet here. So now we are in my sheet sheet, which is also useful for me. And we need to open the terminal. So I explain how to do it on Mac and on Windows if I don't use Windows, but okay. And you can also use apps like Varp and Eper. So I use Varp where you can type in natural language. Okay. So to create the, the key, we use this command. In my case, I need to, to create it in another location because I already have this key. So in my case, I'm going to type SSH K again. So this is the base command. And in my case, so as I want to have it with another name, so here it's to enter in SSH and I name it demo key. But in your case, you just have to type that normally. Okay. Okay. We don't need a passphrase. Okay. And this is done. Now we need to show this public key. So. We use cat, which means concatenate and we go. So look, let me show you. So if we enter here, so CD, we change directory okay? and we type LS, we are going to see our keys. Okay. So you see that I have created these keys and this is a public key. This is what we need to paste into Etzner. And this is my, my key. So now to show this key, we need to type cat and in my case, SSH demo key pub. But in your case, if you just create the default uh, name, you will type that. Okay. So here is it. And now we need to copy all that. Okay. So until here, because then as you can see after this is my, my terminal. So I copy this and I go back to Edsner and here I add the SSH key and I name it demo key. Okay. And I set it as default key. That's not uh, mandatory and add SSH key. Okay. This is done. So now I, I click here, create an by now. So this will be charged at the end of the month, not now. One important thing also to mention when you create your Etzner account, sometimes they ask you a document to identify immediately, but most of the time not. But you will receive an email to send your documents. And I say that because I didn't saw it. And so my server was blocked. So check your emails and upload your ID because if not, they will block your account until you, you upload it. And then I was upset, <laughs> but it's just something good, good to know. Okay. Let's continue. So after that, 
Okay, so now we have our server, we have the backups, we have everything. Now we need to go to, to set up our subdomain. So first for that, we need to copy the public IP here. We have created our server and we copy this. And then we go to our domain name provider. So I used Namecheap and I recommend it. It's a really good uh, price and easy to use. And we go here to the dashboard. Here is my domain name and I go to manage. Okay. And then I go to advanced DNS. And here I need to create an A record, so add new record. And I need to create one for NA10 and one for Flowwise if I want to host Flowwise. So here, for example, I did it. This is for my, for my account, but here we are going to register another. Let's say this one is for the US, so I will name it us.n8n and IP address I paste here the public server IP address and I keep here automatic. Of course, if you are installing it for yourself, just choose an ATEN and flow wise, no need to add to add this. Okay. I created, and now I create another one for flow wise. So I name it us dot flow wise and same IP address here. And I save this. Okay. So. Next step. Now we have our domain and subdomain. Okay. Now we need to connect to our servers. To, so to connect to our server, we need to type that SSH root at your IP. Or if the SSH key has a different name like mine, you need to type that. So in my case, I type this one. Okay, that's right. Okay, so here you type yes. Okay, and now we are inside our server. Big step. By the way, I understand that can be overwhelming and complicated if you are not a technical person and that you have other things to do. So in this case, book a free consulting call and we will see what I can do for your business, if I can install a server, manage it, or find uh, ways to optimize it with uh, automations and AI. So book a free consulting in the description. So now Docker is already installed on your server. So Docker package, everything your application needs to run and can be moved easily between computers, but we need to install Docker Compose. And for that, we need to type this first. Okay, inside the server, always. Okay, so this uh, updates the list of available packages and their version and apt, uh, yes, upgrade, installs a newer version and packages. So the Y means yes to any prompt. So it is automatic approval. Okay, it's installing. And after that, we will type this apt install docker compose plugin. So as soon as everything is updated. So now everything is upgraded. So I have copied this uh, command and I enter this. Okay. So now he's, insta he's installing docker compose plugin. And now we need to clone the configuration repository. So we copy that. Okay. Always in the server, because the first time we did it, I did it on my computer as um, I'm a developer and not DevOps. So I want you to avoid the type of mistakes that I did. So that's why I'm doing this tutorial. Okay. So not this one. This one. Okay. Copy. Okay, so now we are cloning this and after that we need to enter, we change directory to go into NA10 Docker Caddy. Okay, so now we are here inside. So now we need to create Docker volumes for Caddy data and NA10 data. I copy this. You will read the explanations. Here I want to focus on the practical things. Okay, NA10 data. Okay, done. Now we need to open ports. So. First, this one. 
and this one. After that, we need to config the environment variables for NA10. So now we are going to open the env file. So nano, it's a very simple editor, not as handy as uh, VS Code and all that. We have to navigate with the arrows left and right, up and down. And so here we need to add, okay our directory path so if you are in the default one this is root okay the domain name it's your domain name and the first time i put there the domain name and the subdomain so in my case it's cutsdi.com and the subdomain, so in your case, it would be NA10. And in my case, it's us.n8n, okay? So then you put your time zone and your email here. So I have put the mistakes to avoid here. And now if you also want to install Flowwise, so it's easier to do everything on the go, we are going to have also the variables for flowwise so username and password okay very secure i will uh, delete everything anyway after that okay so now we save the file by typing control okay and then we exit with control x okay so now we need to open the docker compose file and this file, if you just install NA10, you don't need to change anything to it. But if you install Flowwise, you need to add that. So let's go. Uh, nano Docker Compose. We have all that. We don't need to change it, but we want to have Flowwise. So I copy that and I put it here. We have NA10 as service and now we need to add Flowwise. So I come here. Okay. And I paste this here. Okay, and again, I save and exit. Okay, so now we need to configure caddy. So for that, we open the caddy file, nano caddy config caddy file. Okay, so here, as you can see, we have, we need to modify this, the domain and suffix. So we enter and now, if we want also to have flowwise, we need to add that here. So I copy this. Okay. And I paste it here. And okay, here I need to have my subdomain in your case, NA10 and here US NA10. The subdomains that we had on Namecheap or your domain name provider. And we exit. Okay. And next, I think we're good. So I hope everything will work. We start everything with this command. Okay, so now all is installing. Everything is installed now. And uh, I realized I made a little mistake in the caddy file. Of course, you have to replace the domain by your domain, which I didn't do. And it was not working. But now let's go and let's see everything working. So if I type us.na10.cutzai.com. Ta-da! We have our NA10 working on our server. And now if I go to na10.us.flowwise.cutzai.com, .us it's working too. And we can log with my super password and we're in so everything works as you can see it's not so complicated you can make mistakes so it's not so simple neither but uh, download the sheet sheet and keep it at hand and it will be fine of course if you need my help and to explore your business together to find the bottlenecks or help you to host it to host an item on a server and manage it for you please book a free consulting call and I will be super happy to help you. We have done something great today. We have set up NA10 and Flowwise on the server 
on Elsner for a really good price and we can run as many workflows as we want. So I think it's really great. And in the next video, I will show you how you can install NPM modules on NA10. NPM modules are custom functions that you can use in the code nodes. But for today, if you like my content and want to please the algorithm and to help me, please like, comment and subscribe and see you next week. Bye.